In this video, we will going to set up the in-app purchase on both the Google Play Console and the App Store Connect. Now here, we set up the consumable, non-consumable and the subscription items on the Google Play and the App Store. First, if you here, go to the Google Play Console and choose your game. And here, if you click on the in-app products, you need to first upload the APK with the billing permission. Now here to upload the APK with the billing permissions, we need to go back to the Unity project, click on the window, click on the package manager, and here under the Unity registry, search for the in-app, and you will get this in-app purchasing package. Just install it. After installing the in-app purchasing package, click on the configure, and here, activate the in-app purchases. After this, we need to copy paste the receipt of Fuscator. And here to get the receipt of Fuscator, we need to go back to the Google Play Console. And here, click on the monetization setup. Scroll down and just copy this licensing. Get back to Unity. And then just paste it over here. And then click on the obfuscate license keys after this it will going to compile the scripts now you can see uh, even after copy pasting it we still get this there seems to be no existing key set on backend and now to properly set this up we need to now go to the unity project settings in the dashboard just click on this link over here this will going to take us to the unity's gaming services where first we need to sign in and here we need to now copy paste the google license key over here just Select it and paste it over here and then click save. Get back to Unity. And now paste it over here again. And click on obfuscate license keys. And this will going to solve the problem. After this we need to click on the obfuscate Apple license keys as well. Just click on it. And after this setup is completed we can close the project settings. And now go to file, save scene, save the project. And then click on the build profiles and basically build the game for the Android and upload the first APK on the Google Play Console. Make sure to click on the build app bundle and then click on the build to build the project. So after building up the project, we need to now click on the test and releases. And because we are testing right now, let's just upload the APK to the internal testing. Just click on the internal testing, click on the create new release. And basically upload your .aab file over here. So after building it up, I just have uploaded the test game 2.aab file over here. And after this, we can scroll down and click on the copy from previous release. And I will just going to write here. This is the test game version 0.3. Let's just change the release name to be 0.3 as well. And after this, let's click on the next save and publish. And after this. Let's just go back to the dashboard, click on the monetize with play, click on the products, click on the in-app products. And now we can finally create the products for the test game too. Let's click on the create product. And here for the product ID, let's first create it for the consumable. For the consumable, I will going to type here 5000 coins. So let me just type it in like this. And then after the product ID, we need to type the product name. Let's say get 5000 coins. For the description, I will just going to type you will get 5000 coins in game. And for the price, you can set any price. Just click on the set price and basically you can provide your price over here. Let's type here to be. I will going to choose here 299 INR, which is the Indian rupees here. Now here you can change it to be USD and depends on your country. And then after just click on the apply this price. So it will going to show up 299. And again, based on the different countries, this price will be changed automatically. After this, we can allow the users to purchase more than one of this product in a single transaction. Now for this case, to make this checkbox to be visible, we need to here click on the select price template and basically create a price template for this. To create a price template, we need to click on the manage pricing templates and then click on the 
and then click on the leave and discard but before that let me just copy my product id so we don't lose this one and let's just click on the manage pricing templates and click on the leave and discard and then here we can create a new template for example we can just click on the create template name it to be let's say get 5000 coins set a price here for example we can set here 299 again and you can see below it will going to show up at different prices for different countries with the applicable text just click on the apply price here click on the save button and now let's get back to the application and here again let's click on the monetize with play click on the products in our products and now let's click on the create product just copy this get 5000 coins again over here I will just going to copy it again here get 5000 coins and let's just type you will get 5000 coins in game and now we can choose a pricing template just click on the select pricing and here you will going to find I have this get 5000 coins pricing template and now they allow user to purchase more than one of this product in a single transaction checkbox is enabled we can just click on it to check this and then basically click on the save button great we can click on the activate and after this is done we can now click on the in-app products again create a new product and this time we remove ads for the product id we can type here remove ads for the product name let's say we type remove ads here as well for the description let's type this will remove ads from the game and here you can again choose the default price for, but for now I think we don't want to set it to be multi quantity then you can set a price on your own for example I have this remove ads pricing that I created previously I will just going to choose this template and make sure to uncheck the multi quantity here and then click the save multi quantity is useful for the consumable items only while for the non consumable and the subscription this checkbox should be disabled after this we can just click on the activate button so we have created the remove ads as well and now for the subscription we need to click on the subscription over here on the left create a subscription provide a product id for example get vip badge for the product name let's just type here vip and click on the create after this we need to set a base plan now here you can provide any base plan ID for example the get VIP and then you can here choose whether you want to be have auto renew prepaid or installments for now I will just going to choose the auto renew and will leave the settings as it is while we are testing the in-app purchase subscription items the subscription automatically gets expired after the 5 minutes so that we can continue test it on the real android device now here you can choose your settings however you want it but I will going to leave it and then for the price we can click on the set price which will be basically applicable to all the countries for all of these countries make sure to check this checkbox and click on the set price and here you can basically provide your subscription price for example in my case I will just going to type here 599 and then click on the update now here you can choose any currency you want for example you can even choose the USD and then set a price for example to be 5 and then click on the update and after this the, all the prices will automatically going to display based on the price that we have set up and then click save click on the activate once done we can get back to the subscriptions VIP this is the product ID that we have just created and now it's also active now let's do the consumable, non-consumable and the subscription items set up on the App Store Connect as well. Let's go to the App Store Connect. Now here you can see I have also created the test game to iOS game over here. And here basically you need to click on the monetization in app purchases and then click on the create. Here you can choose the consumable first and for the reference name we can type here the coins. And for the product ID I will going to use the same product ID that we specified on the Google Play Console and for this case we can go back to the Google Play Console and you can see in the in-app products we are using the product ID for the consumable get 5000 coins just copy it from here go to the app store connect and paste it over here after this we can click on the create 
great. Now we will go to set up this later. Just go back to the in-app purchase this time and click on the plus sign again over here. Choose it to be the non-consumable and this time we will going to remove ads. So I will just going to type here the remove ads and for the product ID, let's just copy this product ID from here. Remove ads. So basically it will be the same on both and then just and then let's just create it. Now, in case you get this error, which is the product ID you entered is already being used by another in-app purchase associated with this team, then you can update it. For example, you can basically use a special character and basically have it like this and make sure to copy this and then after click on the create. Now, after this, go back to the Google Play console, select this remove ads and basically delete it from here. And then after we can just create it again from the Google Play Console and here just copy paste the same product ID here and then for the name we can just again type here the remove ads and provide the description and choose the select pricing to be the remove ads pricing and then quickly click on the save button and then activate. So we did this just to make sure both the products ID both on the Google Play and the App Store is the same for consumable, non-consumable and the subscriptions. And now let's finally do it for the subscription on the App Store Connect. For this case, let's get back to the App Store Connect. And here, before we set up this remove ads, let's just click on the subscriptions now. Click on the create subscription. Provide a, set, a reference name. For example, in this case, let's just type subscription new and then click on the create. And here, let's click on the subscription. And here, for the reference name, I'm going to use the same reference name. And for the product ID, let's click on the subscriptions on the Google Play Console. Copy this get VIP badge. And then just paste it over here. And then just click on the create. Great. Here, basically, we can choose the duration of, let's say, one month. And let's leave everything else right now from here and click save. So once done, we, we need to now click back the in-app purchases on the App Store Connect. So now our product ID is same on both the Google Pay Console and the App Store Connect. Now let's set up further the in-app purchase on the App Store Connect. And for this case, first we need to select the coins. And here make sure to choose all the countries here in the countries availability and then click done. For the pricing, click on the add pricing. And here for the base country or the region, I will going to choose the India. And then for the consumable items, as here I have mentioned the price of $2.99. Let's just choose the same price here to be the $2.99 as well. And then click on the next. And then basically click on the next and the confirm. After this, we can here add the localization. For example, English US and we can just call it as the test consumable. For the description, I will just going to type get 5000 coins. And then click on the create. And here, image is optional. We, you can even upload it if you want to, but I will going to leave it. For the review information, as you can see, we need to upload a screenshot for the review team so that it can be reviewed by them. For this case, we need to go back to Unity. And basically, you will going to find I have just selected as a resolution of 6.7 iOS, which is 1290x2796. Just take a screenshot here by going to Tools, Mobile Modernization Pro, and then Open Screenshot Tool. And here you can provide a name, let's say the IAB, for example. Click on the Take Screenshot. You can locate the screenshot by going to the Project, and then click on the Assets, click on the Reveal In Folder. And then you will go to find the screenshot that we just took, IAP.png. Go back to the App Store Connect and here upload this IAP.png over here. For the review notes, as this is the consumable item, we need to tell the review team where the consumable button is actually located. So the, we can here type the button. And after this, we can just click on the save. Great. And now do the same for the remove ads. Just select it. Click on the setup the availability, then choose done for the pricing. Here, choose the base country to be the India. It could be different for you, but 
I will going to choose the base country to be India and then for the pricing you can choose here 149 now here you can see I have specified 147 you can always change it so to match it with the App Store Connect by going to over here click on the unlink template click on the edit price and just just make it to be 149 which is matching over here and then click on the apply price and then save the changes once done we can get back to the App Store Connect click on the next button over here click on the next confirm now for the localization we can just type here the test non-consumable for the description let's just type remove ads and click on the create once done we can upload the same screenshot over here just drag and drop it over here and then you can type here the button and then click on the save after this we can just go back to the in-app purchase click on the subscription and here for the subscription new just click on it click on the subscription new and here we can set up the availability to the all countries for the price let's choose 5 which we have specified there so I will going to choose 4.99 and click on the next click on the next and then confirm for the localization let's just type here the and we could just type let's say VIP badge here and click save let's just drag and drop the same screenshot and then you can just type here the button is located uh, then after I think we can click on the save once done we can just go back here so now I think we are ready with the subscriptions so the subscription is all set here and the in-app purchase is, is also set great if it says missing metadata you can add the localization here which could you could provide here the subscription group display name for example the subscription and then just click on the create and now it will going to change to ready to submit so once done we can go back to the in-app purchases here so now all set on the app store connect as well as on the google play console great get back to unity so that's it for this video in the next video we will be setting up the iap script as well as we will going to make sure to test it on both the ios as well as on the android and see how this works thanks for watching